Okay, let's look at the directions to the left. It says credit only if. You have to do these things. Straight lines through points. Lines go through the entire graph. And there's arrows at the ends. So when you graph, you need to do those three things or else you will not receive credit. Let me help you get started on the first one. Okay, so I already gave you the numbers for X. <clears throat> excuse me. And then you want to plug them in here and get a value for Y. And then put those here. So, for example, if I put 0 for X, if I put 3 for X, if I put negative 3 for X, and if I put negative 8 for X, what do you end up with? Okay? That's what we want to find out. Some of this you do mentally, but I'm asking that you write this out, at least for this problem with me. So on the first one here, 0 plus 5, if x is 0, y is equal to 5. This is equal to 5. If you put 3 for x, 3 plus 5 is 8. If you put negative 3 for x, negative 3 plus 5 is 5 minus 3 is 2. If I put negative 8 for x, that's negative 8 plus 5. So 5, that's going to be negative. See, five to 8 take away 5 is 3, and there's more negative. Negative 3. Okay, so now these are all points. Okay, so these are all points. These are all answers that will work inside here. If I put this for x, I'm going to get this for y. And I'm just going to put this here just because I want to. So if I plug these numbers in for x, this is what I end up for y. I'm going to graph now these points. Start off with 0, 5. Zero, go sideways 0, but go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next point is 3, 8, 3, 8. So go over 3. 1, 2, 3, up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, next point is negative 3, 2. Negative 3, 2. So I'll go over 3. 1, 2, 3. Negative 3. And then up 2. 1, 2. Already you can see the line being formed. And the last point is negative 8, negative 3. Negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then negative 3, down 3. 1, 2, 3. That's negative 8, negative 3. All right, and notice how they all lined up. So now I'll take a straight edge. Again, you can use an ID card, credit card, whatever you got going for you. You go through all the points, through the entire graph. all the way to the very edges. You're going all the way to the very edges and then you're putting lines, I mean arrows, at the very end. And this graph is this equation which is y equals x plus 5. Okay, so this equation is represented by this graph. And all these points that are on the line these are answers to this equation. They're the solutions, x and y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these numbers for x. I, I chose these numbers for x, and I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to put a 0 in there. I'm going to put a 2 in there. I'm going to put a 3 in there. A negative 1 and a negative 2. I'm going to put all those things in there for x. And I'll see what I end up with. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's put 0 in there for x. 
Give you a second. So if you're still copying that, I'll give you a minute. I'll give you 10 seconds up of that. Okay, let's go ahead and put zero in there for x. If I put zero in, three times zero is zero. Zero minus two is negative two. All right, let's put a two in there for x. If I put a two in there, that's six. Six minus two is four. If I put a three in there for x, right? Three times three is nine. Nine minus two is seven. If I put a negative one in there, three times negative one is negative three, negative three and negative two. Negative three and negative two makes negative five. Next we have three times negative two, that's negative six. Negative six and negative two makes negative, negative six and negative two makes negative eight. So these are all points, these are all solutions that will work for this equation. If you put zero in here for x and you put negative two for y, you'll see that the left side equals the right side. These are solutions. So I have all my solutions, now I want to graph my solutions. Okay, draw a line all the way through the points from one end to the other, all the way through the graph, through the entire graph. And there's your line. And that equation is y equals 3x minus 2. Okay, so what is this line right here? These are all the solutions that will work. These are all the answers that will work for this equation. So the left side equals the right side. They make the equation true. Okay, now you go ahead and finish the other four problems there. Okay, I did one and three with you. Let's go over number two. So 
you should have the points 0, 2, 2, 6, 4, 10, negative 2, negative 2, and negative 4, negative 6. And if you graph those points, it should look like this. Remember, the graph is all the answers. These are solution, all the solutions to this equation. Y equals 2x plus 2. Okay, going down to number number 4. You should have the point 0, negative 3, 3, 0, 8, 5, negative 3, negative 6, and negative 6, negative 9. And the graph should look like this. And you could look to see if you did it right if you went to, let's see, 1, 2, 3, negative 3, and then 1, 2, 3, positive 3 on the x-axis. Okay, on number 5, you should have 0, negative 5, 2, negative 1, 5, 5, 7, 9, and negative 2, negative 9. And if you graph that out, Graph those solutions. It should look like this. For the last one, number six, you should have zero, four, two, ten, negative two, negative two, and negative four, negative four, negative eight. And if you graph those points, these solutions, it should look like this. And notice how, again, my line is going through the points, all the way to the very edges, with arrows at the ends.